Okay, uh, go to physical physical mode here, physical. Click on home CD. This is the CD click. Now click on corporate office. Okay, this is the the office. But uh, in this office, this is the main wiring closet. Click here. And now uh, it's empty and add a uh, new rack. Click here, new rack. You have the rack and new table, new table click. Okay, very good. And now here uh, add a router, for example, 4321 router. Or 4331. I will use 4321. 4321 router. Okay. This is the router. This is the uh, power distribution. Okay. And my router. My router is connected to the power distribution. Okay, this is the energy and this is the router. I will add another router for the 321. Okay. And also I will add a 2960 switch. 2960 switch. And uh, uh, 3650 switch 3650 switch okay very good I will add computers uh, PCs uh, PC I will add three Okay, I will add a new table. Okay, and place the PC here. Okay, very nice. And the first connection is the console connection. So, how you can do that? I will add a new. Uh, New cable backward. Okay, new cable backward. Click. Very nice. Connections and drag the console cables. I will add uh, console cable and a USB cable. Okay, USB cable, the serial DC, serial DC, serial DC, okay, uh, straight through, straight through, another straight through, and fiber, two fibers. And, uh, okay, for now that is enough. Okay, and another console, another console cable. Okay, very good. Okay, and now. Now, and you can see routers and switches are connected to the energy, the power distribution, okay? And I want to configure router zero, this router. So I will use a console cable, this, this cable, console cable, select this. Okay, select this, click here. And down here, okay, down here, 
from RS232. RS232 is the standard and connect from RS232 on the PC to the uh, console on the router. Okay, click here. Now the connection. Okay, the console on the router and RS232 on the PC. And look at this switch is on, is power on. So click on the PC, desktop terminal. Okay, enter. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Okay, now you can configure the device. But another way to uh, to use the console, you can use the USB cable. This USB cable, USB click here. And from the PC, uh, USB port, click here on USB port and connect to the to the USB uh, mini USB port on the router okay this is the another router but I will configure this another router using USB console click here now now you can see okay from USB 0 on PC to router USB console. Click on the PC, desktop terminal, OK, enter. Would you like to enter initial configura configuration dialog? No. And you can configure the device. The next is how to uh, configure the switch using console go to the PC, I will use another PC and this uh, console cable, click here, port RS232 and go to the switch. Okay, and on the switch, search the console port Plus Ethernet port, gigabit port, uh, right click on the switch, inspect rear, okay, inspect rear, and this is the console port, okay, click here, very good. Click on the PC, desktop, terminal, okay, enter, now you can configure the device. Okay, and how connect uh, this uh, serial DC? Okay, use uh, from router to router, from serial interface on router to serial interface on router. Okay, and click here on the router, add the card. Uh, NIM2T is a two-port multi-protocol synchronous serial NIM. Okay, uh, turn off the device, place the card, the module, NIM2T, power on. Okay, now uh, on the another uh, router, click here. Okay, uh, power off the device. Uh, Click on NIM2T. NIM2T is a two-port multi-protocol synchronous, synchronous serial NIM. Place the module, power on, and use the cable. Uh, click here on serial DC. Okay. The first connection will be the DC. Okay, first connection will be the DC. So I will use this. 
serial 0 to 0 will be that easy click here and serial uh, 0 to 0 and, and the, another router will be the edit click here okay so this is the uh, the DCE is placed on router 0, DCE on router 0, and DTE on router 1. Okay. And this is the serial uh, connection. And fiber, for example, uh, on this router, click on this router. Select the, the this. Uh, you can select a GLC LH SMD 1000 byte LX LH SFP operates gigabit Ethernet port Cisco industrial Ethernet and a smart grid switches okay, and you can place this here on gigabit 00, zero. okay or also select the this another GLC G 100 fx gigabit ethernet ports uh, 1310 nanometers wavelength and you can use this here you can use this also use this okay but i prefer uh, this GLC LH SMD place here. I'm very good. Now it's placed. And for example, go to this and this switch 3650 switch and click here. Uh, place the power supply. Okay, the power supplies to power on the device. Okay, the power supplies to turn on the device and add this module for example uh, GLC LH SMD 1000 base LX LH SFP gigabit Ethernet ports okay click here okay very good and now use the fiber the so select the fiber, fiber, and from this port, gigabit 000, zero, zero to the switch gigabit 111. Now the fiber is connected. And now use, uh, for example, this. Uh, copper straight through to connect a router to switch you can use fast Ethernet or gigabit use any I prefer gigabit from gigabit on router to gigabit on switch straight through or switch to switch for example this gigabit on switch to this gigabit and the another switch and finally straight through to connect from this switch to PC Okay, uh, thank you very much.